pissed off that every thing I've done in this video, my right foot slipped. What does that mean? I don't know, bro. Is it just a I don't sound know. Sound? Okay, so the simplest explanation as to why Drew's right foot slips every time he lands is that his center of gravity is all above his left leg and there's no weight above his right foot and so there's no force to keep it glued to the ground. It slips out. Looking at why that happens is a little more complicated. So fundamentally, it's because Drew cannot stabilize the weight of his torso very well. At the middle part where his low spine, his lumbar spine, joins onto his upper spine, his thoracic spine, at the kind of junction of those two points, he leans over to the right. And he does this all the time. So whenever he's standing or doing anything, walking around, he's always leaning to the right. And you can see this endless video clips of him doing this in real life, always leaning right and standing, walking, hanging out, doing whatever he's doing with his friends. And this right lean, when he's standing, which takes his weight onto his right foot, when he has that same lean, that same shape in his torso, and he takes that into a landing, like a squat or hip flexion, it causes his weight to shift across and left. You can try this for yourself at home, in front of a mirror, or just do it. Shorten the distance between your right shoulder and your right hip as much as possible, like Drew does, and then try and bend down into a squat. And what you'll find is, somewhat counterintuitively, that that actually, more often than not, and especially in Drew's case, ends up having the result of taking his weight across onto his left foot. And this is what happens every time he lands. And until he's able to stabilize his torso properly, this is gonna happen all the time. The reason it doesn't happen more often is that this is exasperated when he's dealing with high forces. So in this video in particular, he's trying things that near to his max ability. And so these problems that we have that maybe aren't so obvious become more and more clear when we're dealing with higher and higher forces because it's more and more difficult to stabilize that position. So fundamentally, Drew needs to learn to stabilize his torso position. First in standing, he needs to stop leaning to the right all the time with all of his weight on his right foot. And when he bends down into a squat and a landing, he needs to keep his weight central on both feet. That will really help as if he can stop being so short through his right side, he's getting no action out of his right lat or any of his right oblique muscles, abdominal muscles on that side, hugely disadvantaging his ability to control and centralize his weight and leaving him in a position where when he lands, especially under high stress, he's landing with all that weight above his left foot, the weight of his torso, his hips have all shifted across there and he has no choice but for his right foot to slip out. Bloody hell, that was scary though. That slip yeah, yeah. could have been a bit dire. And Callum is right, this is actually very dangerous. This is setting up for um, all kinds of injury problems, uh, especially interestingly enough, uh, this is a really good way to break a left ankle. So you can see a clip of Drew here where he, nothing goes wrong, but his torso and his weight is traveling left in a very uncontrolled way. If he were out coming out of a flip and he had more uh, sideways rotation to add into this, it would be a very good way to break his ankle and I believe his leg and I believe he's already done this. Um, so he's still at risk for this injury because of the way he's uh, unable to control the position of his torso well enough in movements. No hate on Drew, by the way, he's an amazing athlete. Um, he does a lot of things very well, but this is just one thing in particular to notice about his movement and to try and understand the mechanisms that are at play for causing problems like this. Um, let me know what you guys would like looked at or analyzed next. I'm thinking maybe why Toby is so good at cat passes or why Callum keeps getting back problems. Uh, interested to hear your thoughts. Peace out.